Hi everyone, I'm Stephanie Kaza, the tuba instructor for session two this year. Uh, and today I'm going to share with you some tips for your next audition. My number one tip is practice. I know that seems obvious, but imagine going into an audition and they're asking you to play your scales and the first scale they ask you to play is the B flat major scale. Now, if you're a low brass player, you're breathing a sigh of relief at that, right? Now imagine going into an audition and the first scale they ask you to play is the B major scale. A little less comfortable, right? The B major scale is less familiar to a lot of us, whereas the B flat major scale is our home scale. It's a scale we play all the time. So how can you make your B major scale feel just as comfortable as your B flat major scale? Pretty much the only answer is practice, but trust me, it can be done. It seems obvious that practicing our music will help us to do well in auditions, but also remember that your confidence comes from your practice. So the more you prepare for an audition, the more confident and calm you will be when you play. My second tip is to get a good warm up. I recommend to all of my students that they have a warm up routine. It doesn't have to be exactly the same thing every day, but it should involve the same basic fundamental categories every time. Buzzing, slurred playing, long tones, lip flexibilities, articulation studies. These are our main categories. If you're used to playing the same types of exercises every day, then those exercises can help you to get into gear on an audition day. You can go into your audition feeling prepared because an audition day is no different than any other day when it comes to how you warm up. My third tip for you is to remember to breathe. Uh, breathing, of course, is one of the most important parts of playing a low brass instrument, but it also happens to be important for anyone who's going into a stressful situation like an audition. Unfortunately, when we get nervous, our airflow is often one of the first things that suffers. In order to keep this happening, I'd suggest you focus on your breathing throughout your audition. When you're getting ready to play, take a moment and breathe in deeply. Exhale slowly. This will help to bring your focus toward your breath and it will remind you of your full lung capacity. It'll also help you relax in the moment. Remember, you have time to do this before each and every scale and excerpt that you play in an audition. My fourth tip for you is to get rest and to hydrate. Getting good rest before an audition isn't always easy. Maybe you had to wake up really early to drive across Michigan to get to Blue Lake, or maybe you just didn't sleep well the night before your audition. This happens all the time. If you can get a good night's sleep, then do. If you can't, then at least try to make sure that you physically relax your body. Drinking plenty of water will also help you to be at your best. Remember that when we're playing low brass instruments, we're using our lip muscles, which can dry out easily. So drinking water throughout the day leading up to an audition will help you to start that audition in the healthiest place possible. My last tip for you today is to focus on the music. One of the trickiest things about auditioning is how we react to being nervous. When we're nervous, we can often have physical symptoms like our heart beating faster, sweating, hands shaking. On the mental side of things, it can be difficult to focus because of distracting thoughts. It can be tough to silence the voice in our head that's saying, don't mess up, don't mess up, don't mess up, right? So instead of worrying about what not to do, I'd suggest directing your focus toward what is important, which is the music. In this way, an audition is no different from any other performance. You're there to make music for an audience. So when those annoying physical effects kick in or when your mind starts to wander to, I wonder how this is going to go and am I going to hit the high note and I have to play well, just return your focus to the music in front of you. Try to make each note and each phrase sing out through your instrument to your audience, even if it's just an audience of one. I hope some of these tips can help you in your next audition, and I look forward to seeing you next summer at Blue Lake.